Namaste beautiful yogis, this is going to be a quick, intense, impact body weight training yoga fusion class. Let's come to the front end of our mats, feet are hip width apart, hands together in prayer. Bringing the breath in into the center, exhaling, grounding the feet. Inhale, drop the shoulders back and down, open the chest. Exhale, extend the tailbone down. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, planting the four corners of each foot into your mat. Inhale, lift your hands all the way over your head, reaching up. Let your feet sink a little deeper. Lift away from your feet, elongating the spine. Exhale, hands over the third eye and over the heart. And you can bring your right foot behind you, top of the toes on the floor, stretch your toes, reach up and back, extending the tailbone down. Back to center, over to the opposite side, stretching the toes. Lift, arch. Coming out of it. Hands over the heart. Stepping in the front, inhale, reach over your head. Exhale, flat back, diving forward, forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you. And let's step the feet back in plank, spread the fingers open, pull the belly in, open the chest, press the heels away from you, lower down chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, open the space between the collarbones, drop the shoulders back and down and let's rock the hips side to side looking over one shoulder and over the other shoulder, continue rocking the hips. Be gentle. Back to center. Chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide open. Shoulders away from the ears. And just walk in place here. Lowering one heel at a time. And breathe into your hamstrings. Inhale. Right leg comes up. Stack the hips on top of each other, bend the knee and drop the foot behind you, open the hip, keep the opposite heel down on the floor, press the hands steady on the floor, strong shoulders. Continue opening the hip, lifting through your right knee. Optional, you can drop the foot behind you and open into wild thing. Great. Transitioning into side plank, left hand on the floor, stack the feet on top of each other, hips on top of each other, lift your hips. And we're gonna prepare to bring the right foot forward, touch the toes and back five times. Second time, keep your hips lifted, belly in, breathe, be precise with your moves. And once you're done with the five reps, take plank on one hand and we're gonna bring the right elbow to the left knee five times. Again, try to be steady, move slowly, keep your belly in. Release the hands on the floor, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Pressing into the base of each finger here, lifting the arches of the hand of the mat, activating the arches. Inhale the left leg up, open the left hip on top of the right, bend the knee, drop the foot behind you, breathe into your hip. the right heel down on the floor and 
you can drop the foot behind you while thin open the chest lift the hips as high as you can breathe into your hips here pressing the hips high opening the chest transitioning into side plank on the right hand bring the shoulder exactly over your wrist stack the hips shoulders feet on top of each other lifting the hips and let's touch the toes in front of us and back five times two three four five great and we're gonna transition into plank on one hand try to keep your hips level with the floor one bringing the knee into the elbow two three four and five draw the belly in hands on the floor chaturanga inhale upward facing dog Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, step the right foot between your hands and come up high lunge. Extend the tailbone down, press the back heel away from you. Right knee over the right ankle. Reaching as high as you can. And let's dip the left knee down, straighten. Second time, three, four, five. And bring the hands behind you, clasping the fingers, open the chest, lift through the heart. Opening. Great, hands over the head, exhale. Left hand on the floor, right arm reaches all the way up and forward towards the front wall press that right hip back great from here we're gonna transition into side plank on the left hand one more time hips are lifted inner thigh squeezing towards the midline And let's step the right foot in front of us and behind us. Three, four. Step it in front of you as far out in front of you as you can towards the front edge of the mat. Transition into one handed plank. Move through a vinyasa of chaturanga and upward facing dog. And back through chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog. Inhaling the left leg up, step the left foot between your hands and come up high lunge. Extending the tailbone down, pull the belly in, press the back heel away from you, let's bend to the right knee and come up. Two, three, four, and five. And release the hands behind you, clasping the fingers, reversing the grip here. Open the chest, going into a back bend. Steady, strong legs. Inhale your hands over your head. Right hand on the floor, left arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Open your back, open the chest. Reach ahead of you. Drop the shoulder away from the ear. Keep your left hip back. Deep into that stand here. Great, prepare for side plank on the right side. Hips on top of each other, reaching up and stepping forward and back. Try to bring your toes all the way towards the front of your mat five times. Keep your hips steady, your breath steady, belly in. And let's take one hand plank to chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Back to Chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog.
coming back to your Ujjayi breath. Let's look between the hands and lower down onto the forearms, forearm plank. We're gonna go for 20 step out, taking the right left out and back and left leg out and back, counting to 20, keeping your belly in and your hips level as you do this. Keep your move steady and your breath steady. If you need to take a break, take a break and come back to it. You can rest in dolphin pose and come back up onto your hands into downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg comes up. Step the right foot between your hands and come up, high lunge, reaching over your head. And we're gonna do 10 lunge jumps in place, making sure your knee remains over your ankle and your tailbone is slightly extended down. Small hops. Once you're done, bring the left hand on the floor, twist. Lunge. Reach and with your right hand up, open the chest, drop the shoulders down. Great transition into side plank. Hand, right hand behind your head. And we're gonna do knee crunches. Knee to elbow, same knee to elbow. In side plank. Try to keep your hips lifted. Plank, Chaturanga, Upward Facing Dog, Back to Chaturanga and Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, left leg comes up, step the left foot between your hands and come up, high lunge. Prepare to jump 10 times, making sure your form is proper and your knee is over your ankle. Protecting the knees. And let's bring the right hand on the floor, spin the left arm up, twisting in high lunge. Press the back heel away from you, keep your left hip back, twist through your midsection. And transition into side plank on the right hand right hip on top of the left we're gonna bring the elbow into the knee ten times breathe keep your hips lifted and reach in front of you plank chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga and let's press into plank and from here we're gonna jump the feet forward by the hands and back into plank 10 times go quickly here and finish off with white squats here and we're gonna do squat jumps, touching the floor in between. Jumping feet together and feet out, touching the floor. 10 times, keep your back straight. And when you're done, jump back into plank and plank jumps. 10 times, jumping the feet on the outside of the hands or outside of the mat and come back into wide squats and again squat jumps touching the floor floor touch squat jumps moving quickly and keeping the form you want to keep your back flat maintaining the lower back curve and once you're done 
you can come into a forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, the chest over your right leg and over the left leg. back to center let's bring the hands on the floor we're gonna prepare for chair pose jump the feet into chair sit back and let's bring the left leg in front of us one legged chair step back into high lunge with the left leg we're gonna jump the feet jump lunges three times landing with the left knee forward and we're gonna step the right leg forward chair bring the right leg in front of you one-legged chair step back into high lunge and switch jump three more times and again step in the left leg bring the left foot in front of you one-legged chair step all the way back into high lunge three more times jumping Great, step the right foot forward and into one-legged chair. And sit back in chair. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, look ahead of you. Come all the way up to standing, arching. Exhale, hands over the heart. inhale reaching up exhale diving forward hands on the floor we're gonna jump the knees into the chest into half handstands 10 times i'm moving quickly here you can move at your own speed or even hold them a little bit Last one, you can jump all the way back into plank and chaturanga, upper dog and plank. Holding plank, let's bring the knees to the elbows 20 times, then on each side alternating. You're just stepping your foot halfway in so that you can touch the knee to your triceps keep your belly in and once you're done you can step your feet in and prepare for 10 more jumps into half handstand knee into the chest basically Try to jump somewhat quickly so that we get the cardio element and also this is very good for your quadriceps you're gonna feel it the next day last one and jump back into chaturanga upward dog back to chaturanga and plank and 20 more knees step ins Keeping the belly in. Moving as quickly as you can. Keep your breath going. And when you're done with your 20 reps, you can rest in downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg comes up. Step the right foot between your hands. And come up. Warrior two. Sink as deep as you can in your warrior, bringing the thigh up to parallel to the floor. Press into the outer edge of the back foot, relax your shoulders and soften your gaze. Bring the right hand up and over your head, reversing the warrior. Keep your right knee bent. Breathe into your obliques here. Straighten the leading knee and really reach further back, stretching through the sides here.
inhale coming out of this exhale the hands on the inside of the right foot spin your back heel up lower the left knee on the floor and lower your hands or your elbows on the floor moving your knee away from your left knee is moving back as far back as you can I'm gonna move it all the way back so that I get into splits you stay at your level and maybe even pause the video if you have time and stay at the place where it feels like a good stretch but it's not too much of a stretch you don't want to contract your muscles you want to be comfortable and deep in the stretch with a calm breath coming out of this straighten the right leg and sit back hips are moving over in the left heel and let's come into high lunge hands are on the floor and we're gonna step the foot 10 times right foot steps next to the right hand I'm doing one extra step for most reps so that you have the time to catch up with me and when you're done moving through a vinyasa upward facing dog back to chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog Inhale, the left leg comes up, step the left foot in, and come up warrior two. Pressing into the outer edge of the right foot. Externally rotating the right hip, reversing the warrior left hand up and over the head, lengthening through the fingertips here, and let's straighten the knee and reach further back, really lengthening through the obliques, slowly coming out of this, using your core, windmill your hands to the floor, Turn the right heel up towards the ceiling, walk your right foot back and lower your knee. You can just stay here or you can work by walking with your right foot further back. Tuck your tailbone under. far into this stretch as you comfortably can to come out of this come onto your hands bend your right knee and sit back lower your chest over your left leg great and let's bring the hands at the front of the mat on the inside of your left foot take high lunge and we're gonna go for 10 steps on the outside of the mat keep your belly in and step quickly out Side your left hand and back into plank once you're done with your 10 reps go back into downward facing dog and back to plank and this time we're gonna jump the feet on the outside of our hands switching 10 times rest and 10 more all together 20 this is cardiovascular but also it requires 
have level of flexibility for you to bring your feet out and rest in downward facing dog. And plank. We're gonna do a push up with a knee tuck. Push up, knee tuck. All together six push ups. As you press up, bring your knee in. You can do the push ups from your knees. Or take a break in between if you need to rest. And rest in downward facing dog. Let's walk the feet to the front of the mat, forward bend, holding your calves, breathe, let's grab the big toes with the index, middle finger and thumb on each side, come into a seated and slowly straighten your legs either halfway or all the way, straight back, if you can let go of your feet, do so reach in front of you. Slowly lower down, lower back presses into your mat, feet are lifted off the floor and we're gonna do criss crosses, 20 criss crosses, press your belly in. Trying to keep your belly in the entire time and either take a break and rest or move into the next one, extending the legs and bring your one knee at a time into your chest keep press the lower back into your back and really try to keep your stomach in don't let your stomach pop out so you can even bring your feet a little higher up to make it possible you want your lower back on the floor throughout the entire exercise next one we're gonna keep the right leg a few inches off the floor and reach 10 times towards the left foot. Same, roll supply, lower back presses into the floor and we're keeping the stomach pressed in, switching legs, 10 times reaching up from your core. Try not to jerk from your shoulders, really contracting the abs and keeping the belly in. And you can take a break on the floor, laying on your back. Next exercise, we're gonna reach overhead and touch the toes on the left side right heel is on the floor 10 times and switching sides Lifting, finding a lift through the belly. Reach. And let's bring the right knee underneath the left knee, crossing the legs. Grab your feet and bring your feet in towards you, stretching the hips here. And switching sides. Flex your feet. And release. Let's come up to seated, 
grab your knees straighten the back lower back curve is there and you can keep your heels on the floor and just maintain this pose or lift your feet one at a time 10 times the main point here is to keep your chest open and your back straight press the hands together and reach side to side 10 times making sure you are keeping perfect form now right elbow to left knee 10 times keeping the lower back curve the entire time move from your belly I'm resetting my form and moving over to the opposite side and let's round the back and lower back down onto our backs feet are hip width apart pointing directly forward prepare for bridge pose elbows on the floor press your hips up and you can clasp your hands underneath pressing the outer sides of the shoulders out and down into your mat and pressing your hips as high as you can bring your chest back in towards your chin extending the tailbone down towards the knees and let's lift the toes so that we're lifting the arches of the feet to lower down lower one vertebra at a time lower back comes onto the floor before the tailbone comes down and let's bring the feet soles of the feet together open the knees out reclining butterfly pose Let's extend the legs, bring the right knee in and across to, into a supine twist. Switching side. And let's bring the knees in and come up to a seated for a very quick breath meditation observing your breath and being thankful for everything you have in your life stay here longer if you have the time namaste have a beautiful day